They were a community of like-minded believers, and fellowship was extremely important, extremely important. If there is one thing that drives me nuts, I guess, today, is to hear somebody say that I don't have to go to church to be saved. It is a big pet peeve of mine. And while I know that that is true in one sense, I understand that, that I, I know that no building can save anybody. Okay, I get that. And I know that you can be forgiven wherever you stand at. Don't get me wrong. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't assemble yourselves together with other like-minded right, believers. Right. And I hope you hear me in that. I hope you trust me in that because fellowship is that important. I hear people say, well, my church is on the lake somewhere fishing. Or my church is in a deer stand. Or my church is in a camper. Or my church is on the beach. That is nonsense. It's absolute nonsense. I don't know about you, but my assembly is right here. It is right here. My church or ecclesia is where other like-minded saints are gathered together in one accord, worshiping and serving Yahweh. That is my church. And I don't know how many deer stands that you've ever sat in, but they usually only hold one person. Okay? And that's hardly a gathering. That is hardly a church. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 25 says, Let's not stay away from our meetings as some habitually do, but encourage each other and all the more as you see the day drawing near. Amen. Well, don't we believe the Messiah could come back at any minute? Yes. I hope that we do. Of course we do. Then we ought not forsake the assembling of ourselves. We need the encouragement. Because just before that, in Hebrews chapter 10 and in verse 24, it says, Let us be concerned about one another and other to promote love and good works. I can't do that if I'm on my boat or in a camper. Unless my camper is my tabernacle here in the seventh month of the year, and then I guess that would be different. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It is our job to fellowship with one another and to prov provoke one another to love and good works. And that's what is taking place in the days of the apostle in Acts chapter 2. These new converts are fellowshipping with one another as a means of encouragement to one another. It is so important, saints, so important that we gather together and encourage one another.